Hi everyone and welcome to this pick a card reading on the subject of something your higher self really really wants you to know at this time and I hope everyone's having a really nice holiday season out there. Happy holidays again, Merry Christmas, happy anything you celebrate at this time of year and if you're just having a nice break I hope you enjoyed that as well because I think we all deserve it after 2019. So just relax, breathe, tune in and feel your way into whether you want to choose pile number one, two or three and we'll get started. Okay so if you picked pile number one this is all about shining your light, allowing yourself to open up to everything that you really are. After coming through a time of challenges and testing and growth and awakenings, this is about you birthing the new. And especially over the coming year, it's going to be a really important time for you to step into your true purpose, step into completely being yourself, but it's almost like a new version of, of who you are. I'm using these beautiful cards that were sent to me by one of my lovely, lovely friends and um, a subscriber, Susan. Thank you, Susan. These are the Metatron cards by Amanda Ellis and they're absolutely beautiful. And I'm using a combination of cards. These ones are extremely powerful though and I love the vibration of them so they're perfect for a message about what your higher self is trying to communicate with you. You've got the card of duality here so there is balance needed, balance within yourself, balancing different factions of your life, different aspects of your life and your life experience so it could be that your higher self is wanting you to understand that you need to have everything in balance in your life. You know, you might be someone who's just been really focused on your spiritual path. If so, your higher self wants you to know that it's time to take care of your material reality as well so that you can enjoy life. You might be someone who's been very focused on your material reality for a while. And if so, your higher self wants you to know it's time to turn inward again and to really connect with yourself at that higher, finer level. For those of you in the first category, this is really, really important right now because for you to go into the future and carry out your mission at this time on earth, to fulfill yourself completely, express yourself entirely and, and fulfill your, your purpose, you do need some kind of material backing. You need some kind of stability and you're being asked to Take that just as seriously as you have been taking your spiritual journey over recent years. And I know that some of you listening to this will know exactly what that means. So if you're asking about whether to take on something in a way that gives you more structure or whether to um, apply for something like a grant or some kind of assistance or whether to uh, get an, get some extra work or something that uh, that's going to help you to to create more material stability, then you're being, being encouraged to just take a balanced view of everything and to not see um, that balancing as a loss in any way, but to understand that all aspects of your life need to be in balance now in order for you to feel enriched and to feel happy. So for some there will have been a sense of loss because of having had to devote yourself willingly and happily to your spiritual path. And it's time for you now to get what you deserve for the work that you do, to open up to receive that and to understand that when you do shine your light you give so much and you can't continue to shine your light if you don't feel supported. You're also, you've also got the card of um, going with the flow. Uh, for some of this also I've just heard this will be balancing the masculine and feminine within you. So your ability to receive needs to be balanced with your ability to give. Your ability to, um, to, to manifest and to go after things needs to be balanced with your ability to just attract, breathe, relax. And your ability to be strong and forceful needs to be balanced with your ability to, to nurture, to take care of yourself, to be gentle with yourself, to be loving, to be focused on 
on love and family and, and things of that nature, growing things for some of you. Some of you will come more into a deeper connection with your softer side through growing things, through caring for things, and then through caring for yourself as well. I hope that's making sense because it's, you know, obviously you'd expect this from a higher self reading. It's all very much, um, a lot of this is about your inner world rather than what's happening externally, but you are being encouraged to also alter your material circumstances in a way that really helps you to take care of your heart and your inner being much more. For some, there is a big awakening happening. You've got Kundalini, Kundalini untapped energy. So it could be that if you need to focus more on spiritual practice, you are going to be receiving more downloads bigger awakenings. It could be that if you've actually been going through a period of intense spiritual growth and progression and focus, that you are about to reap the rewards spiritually, psychically, energetically. Big things happening, lots of activity in the dream world. Your higher self wants you to know that sometimes you need to relax and go with the flow and go with the momentum of something, a deeper story that's building and growing. So for some of you, it won't necessarily be a material structure that you need to change. It will be that things are manifesting in your physical reality as a result of the energetic, emotional and um, spiritual work that you've done, the inner work. So it's time for you to claim it. It's time for you to receive it happily. It's time for you to accept this rebirth, to accept the clearing of karma and to go forward, to allow yourself to go forward into this new phase where it can be okay for you to receive, where it can be okay for things to work out nicely and in your favour. It feels for many of you as if you're surrounded by possibilities for abundance and happiness and specialness and beauty and you just have to crumble those last little walls and barriers that are standing between you and those wonderful things. They are not as far away from you as you think and they are certainly not separate from you. Remember who you are. You are a divine creator. You've got this card um, of Archangel Michael whose message is that you are a powerful, loving, and creative child of God, you are very loved. You can do anything at this point. It's a new phase, it's a new start, it's a new leaf. I know we often feel that way at the beginning of a year, but this is timeless. This is for whenever you come to this video. It's time to have a, a review of your life, to look at everything, to decide what you really want going forward into the future and to make the changes that you need to. For some, it is a question of just having confidence. All the pieces are in place. All the insights are there. All the clues are being shown to you by the universe. All the inspiration that you need. For some of you, you are overflowing with talent and resources and inspiration. You're just not seeing it. And you're being asked to reach out, have the confidence to go for what you want because for some, it's actually just a question of confidence. It's just a question of what would you do now if you knew you couldn't fail? What would you do if you knew that trying something, the thing that you are desperate to try, longing to try, holding yourself back from trying, if you knew that that thing was going to be a success, if you knew that you were going to be held and loved and supported by those who totally get you, totally get your work and what you're about. If you knew that every step of the way they were going to hold you and guide you down that path and it was going to be a wonderful success that would lead you into a golden age of being and of manifesting and of, of joy, what would you do now? What would you do? You're being asked to get up and do it. You've also got the card of forgiveness. Forgive yourself, you've done nothing wrong. Forget about the losses and the mistakes of the past. Move on from that now. It's gone, the past is done. You can't go back there. You also have joy and delight. Open your heart to joy. So this is a repeated message that it's time for you to actually enjoy life. I'm getting that through from my guides and it's on this card as well. And you're being asked to trust that you are safe, that there is strength and power within you beyond what you can even imagine at this time. And you're being asked to go within 
and to bring that power up and out into the world so that you can manifest the life you desire. This is not about going within and meditating and contemplating and all of those wonderful things that, that the past has been about. It's about calling up from within you everything that you need to go forward now. The answers are there within you. Everything you need is within you. You need to connect and ask yourself, ask your inner child, ask your higher self, what is it that you need? What is it that those inner children, those separated parts need to feel safe, to feel whole, moving forward towards success in the world? What is it that your higher self is really asking of you? And what your higher self is saying through this spread is that you have all the answers within your being. You just need to tap into them and listen this is a time for listening more than we speak. Listening, listening and allowing ourselves to heal those things so that we can move forward into joy and delight. Not questioning whether we deserve joy and delight anymore, not asking whether it's okay, not, not holding on to resentment, not hiding in fear, but asking what do I need to get beyond my fear? What do I need to feel worthy? What do I need to feel I can do this? You have voyage of the heart. Love flows through you and to you. So your higher self wants you to know that there is abundant love coming through you out into the world and that your higher self wants to channel that love. That you have come here to channel that love. You've come here to be a love channel. To come here, you've come here to be a vessel and a channel of divine love. And you're also being told that love is there to support you in everything you do as well. So allow it to come in. You have again self-forgiveness. This is unbelievable. So if you've chosen this pile, you're really holding on to a lot of self-doubt that's come from mistakes that you've made in the past. Whether you've actually, you feel you've been unfair or you blame yourself for things that have been done to you unfairly. Or, or whether you've just made mistakes and misjudgments that you feel have led you down a blind alley, I'm hearing. Let all of that go now. The, the future is here now. You're creating it in this present moment. It's not about the past. Let go of the past. This is incredible. Two cards about forgiving yourself. Ask Archangel Michael. This one says, My prayer, I ask that you help me to let go of self-blame and forgive myself. Please guide me in releasing any toxic anger or fear towards others. Thank you, Archangel Michael, for allowing me to feel centred and at peace. So if there's anyone that you need to forgive, search your heart, go deep with this and forgive them and remember that forgiving someone else is forgiving yourself because everything is just a repeat of a repeat of a, a repeat, a karmic pattern playing out. We're experiencing what others are experiencing and we're experiencing them through our own experiences. So it's time to forgive because not forgiving is a toxic energy that sometimes holds us back, sometimes not forgiving, is the barrier between all these beautiful things all around you and your ability to actually just reach out, touch them, grab them. So forgive, have confidence, allow yourself to be brave and daring and sparkling. And, you know, I've just had a really weird one, a really weird feeling. For some people listening here, you're, a part of you is holding on to failure and fear in order to prove, look, this is what you did to me. So so if you've been um, attacked or bullied or, or anything like that in the past or, or feel mistreated or cheated in some way, it's almost as if there's a part of you that, that doesn't want to let go, that wants to hold on to the resentment, that wants to not forgive someone else and not forgive yourself for having gotten into that situation, I'm hearing, because then you can prove that, that you are hard done by and you can prove that that person's done wrong. All of that is a really unhelpful energy. It's really unhelpful and it's preventing you from moving forward. So your higher self wants you to know that when you forgive others, you forgive yourself as well. And when you forgive others and yourself, you flow into a divine flow of abundance of, and of everything that you're wishing for, everything that you're dreaming of. Okay, so go with the flow. Keep paddling along. 
and your time is coming to shine. There is no doubt about it. You've got the beacon card. It's time for you to shine your light, no matter what. And this time, it's absolutely essential for all of us who know what that means to absolutely get out there and let our light be seen because that light is elevating everything. It's lifting and shifting and changing the world. Over this period, your higher self wants you to give yourself time, tranquility, and maybe some kind of a physical treat, even if it's just an extra long, a few extra long soaks in the bath with candles and incense and all of that. Your higher self wants you to really relax and retreat a little bit before you go forward into this next phase so that you can go forward recharged and with a sense of this self-love, you know, self-forgiveness, allowing yourself to just spend time and energy giving back to yourself so that you can move forward now and really draw a line behind, you know, draw a line under the past and move into a new phase where you're going to be extra loving and caring towards yourself and reap the, reap the rewards. So that's it for group number one. I hope you enjoyed that message from your higher self and um, take care. Have a great 2020 and happy holidays again. Bye. Okay, if you chose pile number two, your cards are all about taking your power back, speaking up, speaking your truth. So this is what your higher self wants you to know. Your higher self wants you to know that Speaking up and taking your power back is your key to joy and happiness. It's your key to freedom. So it might be that you actually learn how to say no for the first time. It might be that saying no is what actually shows you who you are and gives you back your power in a situation that's very challenging for you at the moment because you're being asked to connect with who you really are. You've got this card of connection and attunement and look at that holy fire of the higher self, of the divine, just washing over you. For some of you, it, it could be that something around you, a toxic situation, a situation that you don't feel you can speak up about, is coming between you and your highest growth and your greatest joy and peace. And it's time for you to let that end. Some of you will be great at working with children. You've got indigo and crystal children. You might actually be considering some kind of work that involves children. And it might be work, the type of work that gives you a, more of a sense of empowerment. In other words, it could be that you, you find stability through a job working with children, whereas before, you were doing something a bit more uh, flexible, casual, self-employed. It could just be that you have children around you who you help and guide. It could be that it's your inner child that needs nurturing at this time, that you have a great deal of sensitivity and your sensitivity has allowed you to appear to be weak. Sometimes people will misinterpret gentleness, kindness and sensitivity as weakness. And it's time for you to actually step up now and show them that you're not weak, that you're actually incredibly strong, that your sensitivity and your kindness and compassion are great strengths. They're the strengths that the world needs at the moment. But you also can't allow yourself to be taken advantage of anymore and you can't allow yourself to stay silent when you need to actually stand up for who you are, what you believe and what you want in life. My guides are coming through really strongly now about that. So there's someone who's, who's watching this who really does need to step out of either a trap that, that they feel they're in or a trap that they've created for themselves with their own sensitivity. So for some it will be feeling too empathetic to go out and connect with people and socialise and um, speak about what you do, speak up about your work. It's not necessarily that you're in a situation that's toxic. You might just be holding back from 
being yourself, from empowering yourself with your mission. And so it's time. The universe is saying it's time. Your higher self is saying, please express yourself in this year. Please go out there and stand up for what you believe in and be yourself. It will bring a great deal of self-respect. You've got two cards to do with children. That's so funny. The last, the last spread, two cards about forgiveness, self-forgiveness. These patterns are repeating. So this is really reinforcing the message. You've got indigo and crystal children and your children are watched over by angels. So for some people, there might be a concern about children, children who are yours or children in your family or children that you look after or that you teach, or it could be your inner children again. It could be that there are young parts of yourself that are actually crying out to be heard or to heal something and they are the ones that are stopping you from speaking up and being heard. So trust what your higher self is saying here uh, that you are being watched over, that you are being guided by the angels, that the healing that you need will come to the surface, that it is coming up, that it is for some of you connected with wounded younger parts of the self. And for those of you who have children or who are looking after children who, who, or who teach children in some way, just trust that you're doing a great job and that your, your work is inspired, that you will find the right words at the right time. And if it's a new job working with children, trust that you are capable, that even if you've been out of this type of work for a long time, you can still do this. You, you still have those skills, you still have those abilities, you still have the training that you've done or whatever it is, it's, it's a message of confidence about children or about young people or younger parts of yourself. Take back your power. This kind of gentleness will help you to take back your power. This kind of sensitivity or understanding or empathy for young people will allow you to take back your power in your life or, or maybe over your, um, your material circumstances. And a great deal of joy and happiness can come from this as well. Because for some of you, this will be the key that sets you free from codependency, that sets you free from having to, to, to feel that you have to be all things to all people at all times, doing work that doesn't sustain you, that doesn't support you, doing work that doesn't give back to you in the way that you give out, doing work that actually is rewarding in the moment and that does give back to you um, in, in the material sense as well. You've also got as above, so below. So remember that the way you see yourself, the way that you feel on the inside is absolutely affecting your external circumstances. So if it is a question of healing, inner healing that needs to be done, it needs to be addressed in order for you to go out into the world and live a life of joy and happiness and to get back that joy for life, that that feeling that, you know, you wake up in the morning, you feel good, you feel excited about the day ahead. It's not hard waking up in the morning. It's not a chore getting through the day. That can all come back to you. And it's to do with stepping into a new vibration of activity and of self-understanding and of mission and purpose to do with all of this, to do with the healing of the inner children or to do with work that, that actually involves children. You are choosing your path at this time and your higher self wants you to know that in choosing your path, in a sense, anything is possible. It's not exactly a question of what you choose, but it's more important that you choose something that breaks you out of this pattern, this stagnation. So we can make suggestions here. We can say that this work would be good for you or that work would work well for you. And you might say, but I don't want to do that. And then you might say, well, I, that is sort of the answer that I wanted. But now that you've said that's right, I want to do something else because there's a part of your nature that's rebellious or that doesn't want to settle in to anything in particular and I do feel that that is the case with some and I completely understand that. So what you're being reminded of through this card is that it's not so much imp that important that you do one particular thing. Your guides and your higher self even isn't telling you what to do but do something. Make a decision. 
anything is possible at this time but there is a need for you to make a change that will enable you to take your power back your it's time to come out of the wilderness i've just heard it's time to come out of the wilderness and i've just heard 40 days and 40 nights for some it's been 40 years it's been a long time 40 months for others you know sit and count it because i got 40 quite strongly figure that out and um and realize that it's time for you to be decisive. I just heard that. Be decisive. Because in making a decision, any decision, you will always bring a result that's new, that's, that, that's fresh, that brings change, that gets the momentum going, that makes life happen again. But standing around in this desert does nothing for you. You've got rejuvenating rain, clear the past, heal the present. So for some of you, this healing really is important because it will allow you to clear away the past and move into something really beautiful. Your joy and happiness will come from actually healing something at a very deep level. So your higher self wants you to know that all of these things are understood by you at a higher level. They are understood and you are moving in that direction towards healing and towards taking your power back. So let that happen. Let yourself be guided. Give yourself time and space for the healing and for connecting with the divine. Release anything in your life or any feelings within you, any stagnation that's stopping you from doing that and move into the future. Move into the real destiny that you designed. You designed in your higher self state before you incarnated. You've also got set your sights higher and let yourself receive. So there are some people around you waiting, wanting to help you, reaching out to you, making offers, and for some reason you're holding back from allowing yourself to receive. It's time, it's time. For some of you, it will be a question of not feeling deserving. For others, it will be a question of not trusting what's being offered. Thinking, you know, oh, everything, oh, what's going to be the payback? You know, everything comes with a price. Can I really trust this? Is it really okay? Is it safe? Your higher self is, is asking you to allow yourself to receive and set yourself your sights higher in terms of what you will allow yourself to receive. So for example, if you expect to get tiny little gifts and someone suddenly gives you a huge gift, allow yourself to receive, open and expand your perception of yourself and of life. Life can be generous, I just heard. Let life be generous. Life wants to be generous towards you. Your higher self wants you to allow that because then you will be able to be more generous towards yourself and then you will increase your passion for life and you'll begin to allow more joy and happiness to come in. Stop chopping it off at the source and don't dictate what form it needs to come in. You might be... Sorry, the camera went. So you might be one of those who are asking for help and when the help comes, because it doesn't come in exactly the form that you expect or because it's too big, it takes you out of your comfort zone, you're not willing to accept it. But you're being asked to set your sights higher in terms of what you will allow yourself to accept and receive. Okay, group two, that's your message from your higher self. I hope you enjoyed it. All the very best of luck. Take care and um, have a wonderful year ahead. Wherever okay, you are. and group number three. Beautiful, beautiful spread here. So your higher self wants you to know that, first of all, it's time for you to pause, to receive, receive healing from your angels and guides, to step back. You've got two cards here that are about healing up here in this corner. There probably will be more. I haven't looked at this in great detail yet. But you've got healing and pause to receive and you've got self-love and nurture. So this group, your higher self wants you to be really, really gentle and loving towards yourself at this time. There's a phase here, possibly of two months, because I'm just looking at these cards and it felt like two months. Don't ask me to explain. And so there's a period of possibly two months when you need to really take good care of yourself, rest and recharge and rebalance yourself and just give 
back to yourself and allow yourself to receive healing from the divine. Lots of meditation, lots of walks, lots of long soaks in the tub, lots of just being gentle, get a massage if you can, just, you know, really take care of yourself, look at your diet, drink lots of water, give yourself Reiki if you're, if you're um, initiated into Reiki. Just do lots of really lovely, loving things for yourself. Because when you do, after that couple of months, and even now for some of you, you're being called into a leadership role. You're being asked to answer the call to step into leadership. The time is at hand. <laughs> it's time for you to step into that role and to let yourself be seen and to go for your dreams in a much bigger way than you thought you would, than you thought possible. That's what I'm feeling about this this card, which is just incredible. It's like you stand completely and totally in your power. You don't question it anymore. You're not trying to figure out your life purpose anymore. You have no more doubts and fears within you. You are here in this moment, you are ready. You have all the energy that you need, you have the strength you need, you have the resources you need, and it's just time. So that's what you're being asked of by your higher self. You need to set boundaries as well. You're being asked to set boundaries, and this card says set them daily. So, and I love that. I think that is so astute that is so insightful that card because we forget that we think oh if I if I tell people that you know I'm going to need some time to nurture myself and I'm going to need some time to work on my my vision my mission they're going to just get that and it's all going to be fine but no you will tell people that on Monday and by Wednesday they're going to be saying oh can you come out now? Are you done? Are you okay? Is it, all, you know, or there'll be something else that comes up, something that needs to be done, or, or you'll get constant interruptions while you're working or something. But you're being asked to be really clear. And I'm also feeling for some that setting boundaries is going to be also about not just saying, um, telling people, stating what you want and expecting people to listen because sometimes they won't bless them, it's not their fault. But when that happens, you know, ask yourself, do I need to go to a library to work now? Do I need to, um, you know, find a studio or something? <laughs> you know, do I need to, to do something? What strategies do I need to put in place in order to enforce my boundaries? And that isn't saying that you are allowing your boundaries to be disrespected. It means that sometimes you just have to come up with more inventive ways of making sure that you have a boundary around the work that you're doing or the dream that you're dreaming or the vision that you're creating that allows you to bring it to fruition. It might be that you have to go somewhere else, it might be that you have to travel, it might be so because a boundary that can sound very much like I'm going to sit in this space and draw a square around myself. That's sort of what we imagine for boundaries. Or I'm gonna say no, and that's it. But sometimes we have to work with ourselves to make sure that we're not self-sabotaging by allowing ourselves to be persuaded to do things or to move out of what we've stated. Because when it comes down to it, if you really, really, really wanted to enforce that boundary or do what whatever it is that you're doing you could find a way to do it and your higher self is asking you to I love it that there's a key on that path and I haven't read all of these so I'm not sure what these things mean but I'm feeling in this reading that what that means is that you have the key you have the key to the place that you work in you have the key to your your being and your vision and your dreams, you have the key to make those things happen, to manifest them. You have the key. It's your home. It's your space. It's your your decision 
All of these things are your decision and your choice. And if that's not respected, then you need to find ways to make sure that it's respected. I hope that makes sense. I know that for someone that is really going to make sense that, you know, they're going to have to find ways to be very creative about making sure their boundaries are respected and set them daily. For me, that means that you might have to restate a point. So you might have to keep saying, I'm sorry, I can't do that just yet. I'm sorry, it's not quite right for me just yet. Or you might have to turn your phone off. You might have to put your phone on silent for a few days. You might have to do that for a few weeks and just decide what you respond to. Or, you know, decide when you check your emails and when you don't. What you actually physically have the energy for and what you don't. And really respect your own circumstances, your own wishes and desires and take them seriously because what's being asked of you at this time is something that does require a lot of energy and a lot of focus and possibly a lot of time as well to put something together, to write something, to create something, to structure and order something. And there are times in life when we do just have to do that, when you think of anything incredible that has been brought into reality on this planet you know there have been inventors or artists or other creators tucked away in a room somewhere being totally disciplined and enforcing setting and enforcing boundaries and sometimes you just have to do that and the people who love you and understand you will totally get that and will be there for you at the end of the creation and and will be there to enjoy it with you and um, sometimes we just have to do those things. So that's really important at this time. It can also mean energetic boundaries, my guide has just said. So for some, it's going to be a question of learning how to shield and protect your energy. Learning how to, to do that to the, to the point that you actually feel safe with your leadership. For some, you will actually be teaching others how to set their boundaries daily. For some, this means that you clear your energy daily. For some it means that you clear and shield your energy daily until that really be begins to stick. And for some it will mean wearing things like crystals that help you to protect your energy. Whatever that means for you, really take time to figure out what boundaries you need to put in place that will allow you to answer the call to leadership. So your higher self also wants you to know that you have a connection with the higher realms, that you are connecting constantly that you are receiving downloads, that you're receiving inspiration, that you're going off in the dream state, that you're collecting gems of knowledge and inspiration that will allow you to take up your leadership role. Your higher self also wants you to know that when you don't understand the world, it's okay because your lack of understanding, your longing to be somewhere else, your staring up at the stars, all of that is allowing you to create something wonderful for others just like you who need to know what it's like to, to be on earth, to be in a physical body and to really feel that your home is in the stars or to feel that you have come to seed another time or another thing or some energy that no one else can see just yet. Nothing, it's not, it hasn't fully taken form. It might not even be fully visible, but just remember to trust your inner vision, to trust in the mystery of who you are and to keep going. Many, many years ago, decades ago, people were bringing their, you know, Hessian bags into the supermarket, into these little whole food stores and people thought they were crazy because they knew what was happening in the environment. Friends of the Earth, Greenpeace, they knew they saw all of this coming. You know, many, many years ago there were vegans, decades ago there were vegans who knew about uh, um, deforestation and, and starvation and, um, you know, the impact on the environment. And it takes time for people to catch up sometimes. I mean, for the mass consciousness, I'm not being patronising, it takes time sometimes for mass consciousness to catch up. We are in, a, in an age of tremendous awakening and you are a part of seeding the new reality on earth trust it and don't forget you know when you feel alone when you feel bewildered when you feel lost trust that vision 
it may take years. It won't take decades because we're in an acceleration right now, but it may take years for people to actually get the magic and the mystery of what you're about and what you do and what you bring, the value of what you bring and the treasure that you are. But you need to trust and know it. Clear cognizance, trust your inner knowing. Trust the message of who you are. Trust your journey and trust that you're here to lead others who need that leadership, who need that validation for what they feel and know about themselves. The idea that you have is brilliant, absolutely brilliant. So <laughs> if you're watching this and you've come with a particular idea in mind and you want reassurance about it, your higher self is saying your idea is brilliant. Your ideas are brilliant. I feel there are multiple ideas for some of you. They are brilliant. Just breathe, give yourself time, to rest and recuperate and allow the inspiration to flow in. Don't push, don't force anything. Just go and have an extra, you know, little nap and wake up and grab your notepad. It's, it feels like it's going to be like that. Like you're going to just, you're going to go into those inner spaces, go off on the inner planes and you're going to wake up with these downloads and you're going to need to write everything down. It's not going to be about, sometimes it won't be about forcing it and about logic and trying to figure it out. It will, it will be about receiving it with this card of healing receiving healing just watching that hand coming down that hand of a guide or an angel or a teacher or the the divine bringing healing or even a, a physical healer to me that can also symbolize downloads receiving anything through the crown chakra receiving anything in an energetic form so answering the call <laughs> amazing these cards, it's really weird, these spreads. It's the third one now. They seem to have themes that come in doubles. So we've got two cards that are telling you to answer the call. So for this group, it's time for you to answer the call of leadership. This card says, the time is now, answering the call. And this one also says, answer the call. So I don't think you need to hear that a third time, do you? <laughs> answer the call, it's time. It's time to step into your leadership role. Hold the course, staying focused, stay focused, don't allow yourself to get distracted, your idea is brilliant, stay the course, lean on God and the angels for support and you've also got, you created this situation and you have the power to change it. So if you feel that you're a bit stuck in lack or limitation or a lack of self-belief, you can change it and the way to change it is by answering the call. Your higher self wants you to have faith. And your higher self wants you to know that you're either in a very powerful soulmate relationship that can help and guide you and work with you, or you're about to manifest one for those who are single. Trust, believe, have faith. Oh, I've just got chills. Wow, okay. I'm not, I'm not going to say anything else about that. But um, it just feels very, very powerful for a lot of us at this time that there is a soulmate relationship on the way that is going to support you in a way that you haven't been supported before. So in other words, it's not going to try to diminish you. It's not going to try to dictate or take over. It's going to totally understand who you are, what you're about, what your mission is, and stand side by side with you, not stand behind you trying to pull you back, not try to, to control you or steer you off in, in other directions. It's going to be a real partnership. And I know soulmates come in all shapes and sizes, so soulmates who have distracted you have served a beautiful purpose because when you come back to the path, you come back ten times stronger. And soulmates who have, have triggered you and set you off have allowed you to do a much deeper healing than you would have done if you hadn't been triggered. So every soulmate relationship is a blessing. And, you know, some of them are karmic relationships, so they're not great. But the one that's coming, or for some of you, the one that you're in now, is a real blessing. And have faith in that as well. Um, this card is very often about new romance. New romance with a spiritual basis, the card says. But I don't always read these literally, so it could be already... It could be a relationship that's long-standing. Um, but some... It's something new and it has a spiritual basis, whereas other relationships in the past have been quite karmic, possibly destructive, 
possibly based on all sorts of illusory and false and unhelpful premises. But this one is really going to be based on spiritual growth, spiritual awareness and a spiritual mission, a divine mission. And that's what your higher self wants you to know, Group 3. Hope you enjoyed that message. Take care and I'll speak to you again soon.